Hey everybody. Well, I'm coming to you from the boudoir. <laughs> uh, just because I'm I'm doing a, trying to get a little bit of spring cleaning done on these two days off that I have. Whatever I don't get done uh, in these two days, I will start on the 5th of May because I'm taking nine days as a vacation. Um, I've going to get some work done and, and during that time I have to see the doctor and blah 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 etc cetera, etc cetera. so I'm going to be busy but um, so I'm taking a break back here in the bedroom from uh, I'm actually doing some work in the closet and I did not know that I had that much stuff in the closet my closet goes all the way across the room and I've got two doors on it and I swear I can't get anything else in there if I tried but I can't part with anything. That's a shame, isn't it? That's, that's really a shame. But that's neither here nor there. What I actually wanted to do this video about was <coughs> peanuts. Peanuts on airplanes. It's been on the news that, uh, and I don't remember which airlines it is, uh, plans to do away with their peanuts. They won't be serving peanuts on a plane anymore. They say, out of concern for people with peanut allergies, that uh, somebody with peanut allergies might be a passenger, and so rather than to possibly have them come in contact with them, they're just going to do away with them. And I think that's bullshit. Why don't they just say, uh, we're cutting costs wherever we can, and that's peanuts. Now true, a lot of the airlines don't give the peanuts away. They, you have to buy the peanuts. So I say a person with peanut allergy don't have to buy those peanuts. But don't take away the choice of the people that do want them. If you, in other words, if they were telling the truth and they are doing it out of concern, then they would have to uh, stop passing out pretzels. Well, I have heart issues, and I can't eat pretzels because of the salt in them, so they better stop giving that out, too, because of people like me with heart health issues. Uh, stop giving liquor out on planes because you might have an alcoholic get on that plane. Shame on you for serving alcohol when you have an alcoholic on that plane. Let's not forget the soda. You might have diabetics on there, so you better do away with that, too. Now see, how stupid is all that? Why don't they just say we're cutting corners and the peanuts have got to go? And just keep it honest. Be honest about it. Don't try to deceive people. You already got all the people uh, that's supposed to be working at the airlines in the towers asleep. Who's minding the store? Who's watching the planes? This just puts more of uh, assurance in the fact that I am not going to fly. I always said I would never fly, and then I got to thinking, well, well, maybe I would like to one day before I die. And now I'm like, well, what the hell, if I do fly, that'd probably be when I die, the way things are going. So, I know both my kids have flown, and uh, they, they like it pretty much. Joy says it, it's, a, it's just okay. I remember the first time Stephanie flew, she flew by herself. And uh, she flew to California, and she flew alone. And she, as a matter of fact, when she came back was just a couple of days uh, before 9-11. She had got back right before all that happened. And so then uh, Joe said if she ever decided to fly anywhere else again, he was going to have to go with her because he was not going to see her fly alone. And she decided the next year, I think it was, to go back out to California. And yeah, he flew with her. And he said it was just okay. He, he wasn't real fond of it. And they've flown a couple of times since then. But uh, they told me that they was going to get me on an airplane one day before I died. Mm, not too sure about that. However, uh, and then another thing that was in the news, excuse me, that I was just hearing about was the suicide pact of the two teenage girls. They were best friends and, and they had a suicide pact. And they actually went through with that and killed themselves this past weekend during a sleepover. And I, that's about all I know. I don't know a whole lot about it. Um, somehow one of the girls had just moved to a new location and started at that school and said that she didn't think she would fit in. 
Uh, the other girl played some kind of ball, and they became good friends. Apparently, they became best friends really fast because if they met at that location where that girl just moved to, then anyway, they said that uh, on on one of them's Facebook page that they had made a post about the upcoming weekend, saying, uh, you know, I'm really nervous about this. I just want to get it over with. But nobody knew what she was talking about. So as I find out more about that, then, then I'll come back and let you know. But I'm sure it has something to do with bullies. And that's a topic that I could go on and on and on about. So I'm just going to stop right now because really I'm just taking a break. Like I said, from my work, i got to get back up and get back into that closet. Well, not in the closet, but you know what I mean. And, and get a few things done. And until next time, bye-bye.